Picture a seamless setting that defies geographical boundaries where you effortlessly broadcast a top-tier video signal to numerous client displays, all while wielding the ability to edit and grade in real time. As a stock producer, this means that you can now provide immediate feedback to a remote colorist or editor as they work on your stock C project. Blackmagic Design made this possible in the recent versions of DaVinci Resolve, making the process remarkably straightforward. While remote monitoring is fairly easy to set up, there are a few requirements for the host and the client systems. For the host, DaVinci Studio is needed. Windows and Linux users need an RTX series NVIDIA GPU graphic card installed with the latest drivers. Unfortunately, AMD and Intel GPUs are not supported at the moment. Mac workstations and MacBooks will work out of the box. And lastly, a free Blackmagic Cloud account. For the client, install the free DaVinci Remote Monitor app for iOS on Apple devices. For Windows, Linux and Macs, use the DaVinci Resolve Monitor app which comes bundled with DaVinci Studio version. Windows and Linux clients will need an RTX series NVIDIA GPU graphic card installed with the latest drivers. Unfortunately, AMD and Intel GPUs are not supported at the moment. And lastly, a free Blackmagic Cloud account. Needless to say, having a speedy broadband connection goes a long way in ensuring a smooth remote monitoring experience. Also, it is recommended that on mobile Apple devices, the brightness should be at about 50% and the true tone and night shift should be turned off. Once you checked off all the preliminary items as a host, let's schedule a remote session. Enable remote monitoring in the workspace menu, then sign in to your Blackmagic account if you are not logged in already. There are a few codec settings to consider depending on your goal. Use lower bit rates for playbacks, such as the H264, 420, 8-bit, where quality is not a big factor. When more precise image quality is needed, such as for live color grading sessions, use higher bitrate codecs, such as the H265 420-10-bit. If your client has trouble with the stream, try lowering the bitrate. Select Automatically Accept Connections to grant immediate access to those who have the session code or leave it unchecked if you need the added security of approving each client manually. Click Start, then copy the session code and send it to your clients via text or email. Once your remote session is live, you will have an active duration time running, along with an icon in the lower right showing if anyone is connected by a red indicator. The remote monitor will have a list of the active clients connected to your current live session. Considering that the client has access to either DaVinci Remote Monitor on their Windows or Mac systems or the iOS app on Apple devices, here are the steps they need to take to access a live remote session. Have them launch the remote monitor and sign in with their Blackmagic Cloud account. Paste the session code they received from you and then click the Join button. The remote live feed will appear and they will be able to see and hear as you edit or color grade. A client can leave the session anytime by pressing leave. As a host, you can stop streaming for specific connected users or end the session for all remote clients. You might notice in certain situations that the image on the remote client iOS device looks highly contrasted and saturated compared to the image on the host display. This is because the stream depends on the project timeline color space if working in a high gamut like Arilog C3 or DaVinci wide gamut and use node level color management. In that case, change the output color space to Rec 709 Gamma 2.4 and the image should look identical to what you have on the host display. If your remote clients have trouble viewing your current stream, try lowering your bitrate or changing the codec. To do this on a live session, click on the settings button in the remote monitor and select a lower bitrate or change the codec altogether and press save. This action will reload the client session with the updated codec and bitrate. What are your impressions as a host or a client on DaVinci's remote monitoring if you use it before? Leave a comment below, we are curious to hear.